Hey guys, this is Adrian Boisel, and today I wanted to make a tutorial on smart objects. I've had a few people comment and ask about smart objects and using them in Photoshop, so that's what we're going to do. So first, I'm going to jump in and create a new document command. Actually, I'm going to open up a new document, and we're going to hit File, Open. I'm going to pick one on my desktop here that I already had prepared, which is my cute daughter, Sunny. I'm going to open up this picture of Sunny. I can hold down Shift. See how it's... When I hit shift, it says open versus open object. So when I hit open object, I'm gonna hold that shift down. I can click open object. There we go. And you can see here, based on this little icon in the corner, this is now a smart object. So anytime I wanna edit this photo, all I gotta do is double click it, and it's gonna allow me to go back to the camera raw version. I can adjust the exposure, I can adjust the contrast, I can do all kinds of really neat stuff uh, within the camera raw, hit okay, and it's gonna update it in my document. The second thing I wanted to do is show you how to actually create, or actually how to convert an existing image into a smart object. So let's go ahead and close this out. Hit don't save this. I'm gonna open this up. Open this image back up again. It's a raw file, of course. I'm just gonna hit open, right? We're not gonna hold down shift this time. So now you can see here I have the layer locked because this is my background layer. There's a number of ways that I can actually convert this into a smart object. Smart object. One, I can right click and I can hit convert to smart object. There we go. Go back, I can hit edit, undo, convert to smart object. I can go over here to image, actually into layer, and go to smart objects and I can hit convert to smart object. That's another way to do it. These are two really good ways to convert something to a smart object. Now I can go back again, I can hit edit, convert to smart object, undo, convert to smart object. I can actually right click in here with my selection tool. Right click and I can hit inside the canvas and hit convert to smart object. So those are the three ways you can convert something into a smart object. It's really, really helpful. Now let's just say you want to place an image on here and I want to convert that into a smart object. So I can go to place, file, place, embed. There we go. Let's just say I want to put a background behind her. So we'll go to downloads. Okay. So let's just say I wanted to put this beachy picture in the background. Okay. I can take this. I'm placing this image here now. Let's just say I want to put her in a window. All right, we're gonna drag this in here. Probably make sure I can even lower the opacity if I want to. I just wanna stick her in there. So you can see here, because I placed this image, the way I placed it, it actually made it a smart object. If you were to just drop it in, and I were to open up that image, we'll just stick with this for now. See, I can open up this separate image, I can go here and I can click and drag this over onto here. But as you can tell, this is not a smart object. The way I embedded it is, drag this and bring this up. I want to put my daughter inside of this window, so I'm probably going to do something like that. Now I can actually add a layer mask to this, and I can draw. And then I can fill this in with a dark color, so I use my brush tool, make my brush way bigger. Boom. As you can see here, I just brighten this up. Escape, there we go. And then do the, I do my selection. And now I have her in the window of this place. Okay. And now the next thing I want to show you is dropping in a smart object from Adobe Illustrator. Right here, we'll open it up. All right. So now if I want to take an image and drop it in as a smart object, let's just pull open some icons or something here that I can drop in. We open this Adobe stock. I'm going to grab one of these. Things. So let's just say. I want to grab, these are all business icons, but let's just, let's just pick this one right here. I'm going to double click on this, I'm going to grab this, and am edit, copy. I'm going to pull back over here to Photoshop, I'm going to hit Command V, or edit paste. And you can see here, when I go to paste it, it's going to ask me if I want to paste it as pixels, path, shape layer, or a smart object. I can hit smart object, hit OK. Boom, now I can size this to whatever I want. Now I can actually, my control tool, and I can go in here now, and I can edit this so I can Double click on it. I can do a color overlay. Got to make sure that's turned all the way up. There we go. It's a normal. There we go. See, it's blue. But if I actually double click this, you can see it takes me right back to the original document inside of Illustrator. So I've never edited the original. And that is a big part of what smart, smart objects are about, is it protects the original image from actually being ruined or harmed. So you're actually using that layer of a smart object and adding those effects to it within that layer panel. And all the effects that I've done to it are inside of here. They don't ruin your original image. So this is a really helpful tool 
Within Smart Objects, you can do scaling, you can do rotating, you can do transforming, you can do warping, you can even do distort. So I'm command or control T, you can see here I can right click. And it's, these are all the things scale, rotate, skew, all the things that I can do flip horizontally. So I can actually skew this if I really wanted to. I can go up this way, bring it up or down. I use this all the time. This is something I, I find very, very helpful. And I wanted to share this with you guys today. So this is a smart object. This is going to allow you to create some reusable templates, uh, the way you do your text. I actually use this a lot. Let me just close this and show you something. I use this a lot inside of my thumbnails. So I'll open up one of my thumbnails. You can see here, this background here is a smart object. This right here is a shape and I added a layer mask to it. And if I really wanted to, and this is what I've done in the past, is I've actually converted my text into smart object. You can just right click and convert to smart object. And boom, now if I want to edit this, I double click it and it opens up in another layer. As you can see here, there's a layer mask where I cut this S out so that it would come behind me there. And if I wanted to delete that, I can delete the layer mask. I can hit save. I can come back over here and you can see it came back out. If I go back here and hit this again, you can see it's back and it's saved. And we'll put it right back to it again. So smart objects are a great way to edit your photos without ruining the original. So I wanted to give this to you guys. Hope this is helpful. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And as always, keep looking up.